Three, two, one, action. Welcome back to Off the Record, where we talk about whatever, whatever we, we want. want. And uh, I, last night I was trying to go to sleep. Last night I was trying to study uh, for JK News, so I was like trying to understand all this information that we're about to present today. And my phone just kept going off, and I did not answer it. I put it on Do Not Disturb. And this morning I woke up to 432 text messages because Steve, Bart, and Joe were going off about OMG and about crypto. <laughs> Thanks for what the is, invite. What is going hey, on? Me and Gio yeah, were talking yeah, a lot you too. Guys, like, you guys don't even know what crypto is, barely. No. So, I know that I give you money for it. <laughs> so it's because we have a life and we do fun shit. Yeah, like really fun. Oh, just stands for oh my god. Yeah, it stands for oh my god. Oh my god. It stands for oh my god. Oh my god, you guys are so lame. <laughs> we knew we knew that. Stupid. Anyway, yeah. well, I, I want to be as popular as Casey. Yeah, why, what are you guys yeah. talking about so Long much? Long story short, if this was Rocky the movie in the beginning, OMG was doing good, had a lot of hope, and then so everyone bought into it, and then Rocky gets the shit beat the fuck out of him for like a good <laughs> so that's the first two, one, right? three Big years. Time. Pounded yeah. over and over, and the tw- He met Apollo. This fool goes to the fucking hospital, is fucking paralyzed, yeah. and he's about to, they literally bury his ass. Somehow, fucking Rocky sticks his hand through the dirt. He's like, I'm alive, and he started coming back back up and now he's training for his next big fight. And last night we kicked Mr. T's ass. Beat the fuck out of him. Beat the morning, fuck out of him. punches, right? Just this morning? Yeah. No. No, no, we're the chill. The movie Rocky. We're so chill. Yeah. But that's uh, where we're at. And Rocky looks stronger and better than ever and there's more people looking at this motherfucker. Rocky, so. I don't under. Rocky has a reason to be in the ring now. I don't okay. understand these boomer references. Can we get like, what? more like, like okay, younger? Okay, okay. It's yeah. like, it's like, it's like. <laughs> No, it's I'm like Airbud. Remember Airbud? Airbud. I love Airbud. It's like Airbud. Oh. Yeah. When Airbud, he's gonna lose the basketball game. Everyone's real sad. Oh. That's still an old reference. Oh. Wait, wait, what? He's gonna lose the basketball that's game. Right. Come on. You're, you're all quoting like 80s, 90s movies. No, but you gotta think about poor Airbud gonna lose the basketball game. And then Don't Air- they have like 20 Airbuds? Yeah. Oh yeah. That's true. They need like Airbud goes to space yeah. and shit too. Okay. I, have a, I have a modern reference. It's like it's like when three ninjas went to Japan. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Exactly. It's like when the Karate Kid, the first one, not the yeah. one with Jackie yeah. Chan. Yeah. yeah. Karate Kid with Jackie Chan. Oh, okay. It's like in Back to the Future where. Oh right. Yeah, yeah. There you go. All right, I get it, boomers. I get it. But yeah, also, that's why then- we're so excited. That's why there's 400 something uh, texts because we're just like, uh, we're, I'm like, I'm just. Li- well, I, it's mainly Joe and Steve talking. Cause I don't really know as much. Oh, true. Yeah, it was mainly learning. Joe and Steve. I'm just learning. We're just backing just one, mainly one coin. We have a lot of faith in one. One of the coins, but we're always have, uh, always uh, have, always will. They're <laughs> diversified in many different. Y'all coins. are loyal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, a lot of people keep saying you guys got to do crypto talk, crypto talk, and I'm like, man, I think crypto talk. There's so many different levels to it because mm-hmm. the first level is understanding how it works, all the basics, and then the second level, like blockchain. So it's technology. like in the, so like it's like in the movie Karate Kid, right? When he's just like waxing wax off, off. Wax yep. off. There it is. It. And he just doesn't get it yet. Yeah. And or jacking on, jacking off. We've been He's doing, doing all these chores and shit for this yeah, old Japanese why? man, and they're like, why? You get me do all this free work. And he right. goes, wax on, bitch. Pa! And he's like, oh shit, you've been teaching me so all this time. So is that the second level? Right. Yeah. Well, oh. that, that's that. And then you, once you learn a little bit, then all of a sudden you get your ass beat, and then it's like, you have like seasonal depression because of fucking <laughs> cryptocurrency. You had seasonal depression? <laughs> I don't know, some people do. Dude, there's people that die, I mean, that kill themselves because like they. They don't understand it. They, yeah, it's like all investment. Yeah. 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 If you don't understand something, it's like gambling. Yeah. It's yes. gambling. Correct. You're just putting yeah. your money on a roulette wheel and you're like, hopefully it's black or hopefully it's red. But if you understand it, like how I understand the roulette table, it's no longer gambling. <laughs> no, it's no gambling. <laughs> Bart's got it figured out. So there's the reds and the blacks. Oh. And then there's the greens that no one knows about. That's sign. Not as good odds when there's the or greens Or if you there. flip a coin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When are we going to Vegas? Dude, soon. Let's go. I thought you guys didn't want to go. No, we do. We want to move there permanently. Yes. Oh, I thought you want to, do you guys want to go to play? No. Oh. How cute. <laughs> I just got a glimpse in like seven year old Joe. He's knocking on the door. Do you guys want to play? <laughs> and then we say no. We're like, fuck no, loser. No. Did you guys ever used to do that when you lock on your friend's uh, door and then their mom opens up, they're like, can't they mom come out to play? And then she'll be like, he has to finish his homework first. You gotta come back later. And I'm like, damn. That's cool. I didn't have friends. Yeah. Um, and I, no, nobody came to my house and I couldn't go to anyone's house. Now, usually we would call each other up or they're like, 
hey, my mom won't let me go outside, but come over and then ask her. Oh, okay. that's funny. And then they'll be like, can Joseph come out to play? My mom will be like, yeah, fine. How uh, cute. Yeah, so I'll be getting in trouble yeah. and shovel, and I'm like, yeah, I do my fucking math. For me, I'm like in the back, fucking mopping some shit, and then I hear, ding dong, can Bart come out and play? And my mom's like, Bart not home. I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm right here. <laughs> that fucked up. You're like right there. <laughs> Dance Cinderella. I pictured your mom, like, you go to that house, can Bart come to play? And then she'll be like, come on in, there's homework. Oh yeah, she's also done that before. Come on in. Everyone's like, no! And she hands him a broom. <laughs> that's yeah. Yeah. That was the most traumatizing birthday I had was my fifth grade one. That's why I remember it because <laughs> my friends came over and then she made all of us do homework and then nap time after. What? In fifth grade? In fifth grade, yeah. In fifth grade, we're already like skateboarding and doing know. normal did, shit. Did you lose your friends that day? <laughs> they all told me the next day at school that they're never coming over for birthday. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. She sabotaged you. And my mom, uh, she, because she was like, oh cool, you're getting older, so this is like a, a, a special day for you. Nap time? The whole day, I wore a dress shirt and a tie, too. Oh, fuck. So like, we're all hanging out, we're fucking playing basketball in my, in my driveway, and I have to wear a dress shirt and a tie and fucking slacks. And so if, even when my friends showed up at my house, like everyone's in their regular fucking shorts and t-shirts, whatever, right? And they're like, Bar, why the fuck are you dressed like this? I'm like, I don't know. My was this usual torture there? <laughs> Fifth grade? Was this done before or after you bowed to her to thank her for? Oh, that's your in birthday? the morning. That's in the morning. Oh, okay. Yeah, she was like. Fifth grade? Yeah. Damn, that sucks. How do you still talk Because at fifth grade, you're trying to be fucking cool, you know? At fifth grade, yeah. and then by by fifth grade, you already want you're you're trying to be a man and shit. You're trying, you're trying to do man. The bitches, shit. you know? Yeah. yeah, you're trying to like date girls and like go to school dances and shit. Not with a mom like mine. No, Bart's trying to play the cello, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> fucking A. For his I'm mom playing. for his birthday. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah. Oh no. And we were like we were like playing like WWE in our our uh, or WWF at the time in my living room and like I'm the only guy in a fucking uh dress shirt and tie and I'm like all sweating. And celloist. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So Do you have to nap in the a dress shirt and tie too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time for lunch, and my mom sucks at cooking, so she made food, and I'm like, can we just go eat out like a normal family? But then she wanted to make food. She goes, no, these kids probably had nothing nutritious their whole lives. Finally, I can make them, I don't know, like a saute ginseng or something. So we, we ate something nasty, and then uh, we did homework, and then we went to sleep. Wow. And then your friends told you the next day they're never coming yeah. over again. Oh my god. Ah! Birthday, birthday cake situation like that. <laughs> Was it Lillian and Bart? <laughs> I don't remember oh that specific God. year, but probably something like she that. She donate your presents to kids in front of you? Um, no, what she would do is she would accept kid like presents from um, her friends for like Christmas or something. And she'd be like, oh, thank you. And we'd put it in this closet that I never get to open. Well, she hits me open it, and I get to go, oh, cool, that's exactly what I wanted. And then we put it in the closet, and then we repackage it and give it to other kids. Yeah, exactly. Well, to your mother, you have a healthy relationship with her. I just roast her. I think now it's just revenge for like the last... Damn. <laughs> I just roast the it, fuck out. It's of just crazy how someone can even come up with these ideas. Yeah. Well, it it's not. It blows my mind. It's not because she really goes with Confucius like laws and teaching. What does that have to do with wearing a tie on your fifth grade birthday? No, a lot because she gave me. I know people that follow Confucius. Wait. She makes up her own shit is Some, what I'm saying. Sometimes people are just being cunts. Well, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How is that Confucianism? No, no, no. So she follows it, but then she like, like she takes it very literally. She's remixing everything. I think she invents shit. I think so too. That's how I a lot of religions says, are. She's yeah. Buddhist, and she makes up crazy things so that too. fit her. Whole wars whatever. were fought because of Christianity. They're like, God told me to do this. Interpretations of Christianity too being different. Like, oh, I think it's like this. And, like this. Yeah, and then they fight over that. <laughs> it's crazy because I was like, okay. If you have, if you had like normal friends, right, and family friends, and they had their old birthdays and stuff, she came up with her own thing because she didn't learn from them. No. Because it would make way more sense if all of your cousins and and your family did things a certain way that was different. Like y'all, you guys were like Amish or something, right? Something strange. And then like, <laughs> strange. that would be really weird. Your mom is like Chinese they're Amish. Watching. It's okay. No, they're, they can't watch. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could talk shit if people aren't watching. Yeah, 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 yeah. They'd have to hand crank the Wi-Fi for way too long to watch. Right. <laughs> but like, but like, let's say, yeah, I, I guess the only closest person would be your aunt who tried to marry your cousin to you. What? But um. 
everyone else. Like, I'm just wondering, she's uh, very creative, right? Because she's coming up with these things out of thin air. She's yes. Not, she's not even doing it. It's a Can I have paper. some context on that, please? Yeah, the, the stories don't sound like they're from the modern day. It's, they sound like they're from centuries ago. So this was, I don't know when, probably like fifth, sixth, or seventh, or eighth grade, but I used to go to Taiwan every summer to stay with family. And uh, I think this one was like 13 or 14 or 15. Yeah, so when we, we were staying over in family, and I don't know why, but nap time's a big fucking thing on my mom's side of the family. <laughs> Clearly, I, I mean, heard about you do it, it for your birthday. You do <laughs> and in Taiwan, there's a huge Japanese influence because of uh, the occupation. I think during World War II. So during nap time, we have a, like a nap room that's like a, we all heated sleep, floors. We sleep on the floor. Yeah, we all sleep on the floor. So dude, I, I, I like your family. I'm, I want to come over. Except for I this part. I love napping on the floor. So we're all sleeping on the floor. I'm sleeping on the floor. My cousin, who's probably eight, she's a girl, sleeping on the floor. My mom's sleeping on the floor. My aunt's sleeping on the floor. I'm trying to sleep. And then you just hear my mom and my aunt having like whispers and gossiping. Like, and I'm like, man, these bitches need to shut the fuck up. But then I started hearing what they're saying and then they're pretty much saying like, hey, you know how both of us have like failed marriages? And then they're like, yeah, like you got a divorce, I got a divorce. It's like, man, it's, it's tough out here for our family. Like we gotta, we gotta keep it within the family. And then I'm just like listening like. Cause like, you said also like nobody understands us. Yeah, like no one understands us. I'm just like sleeping. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? And then they're like, what if Bart marries uh, the cousin? And then I'm just like, I'm like this with my eyes <laughs> open. I'm like, what the? Why is your life a fuck? sitcom? <laughs> And then they're like, yeah, with remember keeping it within the family, this is how they do it back in the days, you know, so we don't have that outside interference and we don't have we don't have any divorces anymore. We can watch them fuck. Y'all are, <laughs> are the Lannisters over there. Yeah, so I'm fucking sleeping, right? I'm sleeping on the fucking this cushion that we have on the floor. Then I can start feeling pressure coming closer to me. No! Because oh both my mom and my aunt are fucking- So two of them are army crawling. crawling. Fucking crawling over, because they don't want to wake anyone else yeah. up. So they're fucking, and I could just feel like the thing kind of move a little bit. I'm like, Grown ass oh, women crawling on the floor. I fucking got them, I can pretend like I'm sleeping. And they're like, hey, hey. And they wake me up. And they're like, would you want to marry your cousin? Oh my God. And I'm like, what the fuck? That's the story. What did you say though? <laughs> I'm like, please, please, thank you. No, of course not. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? I'm like, are you fucking crazy? I'm like, just my, I'm like. Were you whispering but yelling? Were you like, what the fuck? Are you fucking crazy? Well, try, I'm trying to also not be disrespectful enough to get my ass beat. Oh. Uh, so it's a, it's a fine line. Yeah, that's hard. How old are you? I'm like 13 or 14. Wow. I have to ask this question. Before the opportunity uh, for me to uh, marry my cousin, uh, I, will, I will think about it, but I don't think. And I'm also trying to prevent myself from not throwing up first. <laughs> I'm like, look at the fucking eight year old child there. Right. Does your family have a bidet out in Asia? No, that's the part that we didn't get the Japanese influence yet. Oh, because <laughs> I, when we went to Japan, I think that was one of the best things yep. that got us to get bidets all over. We have bidets in almost every single bathroom mm -hmm. in our house now. That's why this video is brought to you by hellotushy.com, baby. It is freaking awesome. So they sent me a package. I got to set one up. Yep. And I would have to say. What is it, booty, a bidet? Yes. Okay. My booty has been very, very fresh. Like it's pretty nice. Nice. You know what? They gave me like panda toilet paper too. They gave me oh, cloths. Cool. Yeah, they gave me a t-shirt. All this stuff. It's 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 pretty cool. Yeah, if you've never used a bidet before, mm -hmm. it's night and day difference. I would say it goes like tissue paper. It's obviously the worst when you don't wipe at all, and I don't know anyone that does that anymore. But you don't wipe, then you wipe, and you have wet wipes. Bidet is the best. It straight cleans your butthole like you just took a shower. It feels really good really fresh, you feel confident. Like I can stick my butt in her face after I poop and I feel really <laughs> confident to do that. Doesn't smell. So if you're looking for confidence in the <clears> rear <throat> end area, give this bidet a try, please. Yeah, um, well, I don't know. Yeah, so, so it says here, for years bidets have been available, but hideously expensive, costing thousands of dollars. Not anymore. Yep. The Hello Tushy Modern Bidet attachment is here to democratize the blessings bestowed by bidets and offer clean balls to everyone. Even peasants can get one. Yeah! Somebody wrote that down. I know. I love that. Yeah. Democracy now. Hello Tushy, cleans your butt with a precise stream of fresh water for just $79. That is, whoa! Not thousands. That is pretty cheap for the, 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 the bidets. The bidets. Yep. Yep. 
Uh, the first time you guys ever use bidet. Hold on, I gotta give the call to action too, just cause uh, this, you guys are gonna love this. Yeah. Go to hellotushy.com slash off the record to get 10% off. That's hellotushy.com slash off the record. And also, if you're shy, if you're, if you're shy back there, mm -hmm. uh, every Hello Tushy bidet attachment comes with a 60 day risk free guarantee and 12 month warranty. That's right, 10% off, baby. Hellotushy.com slash off the record. You say the difference is like night and bidet? Ah! Oh, I like that. It is. Powerful. What were you going to say, Case? Hire me. Oh, the first time you guys ever used a bidet, was it like like life changing or was it like something you had to gradually get into? Because like I was really nervous about using a bidet. For me, it was in Japan. And I was kind of nervous too, because I just imagined for some reason like some like boot camp drill instructor with the hose shit. And so I was like, man, this guy's gonna fuck me up. And I pressed the button and it's like this gentle warm stream and I'm like, oh. oh, oh. <laughs> and oh, it nice. music sometimes. <laughs> yeah. And the seat's warm. I've always, my, my family friends always had it. I just never, I never realized why we didn't. I don't know. I don't know if, uh, bathrooms have an outlet next to the toilet. It's like, that's the, only, that's the thing that stopped me from getting one. We've had to install one. outlets in our house yeah. just, to, just to have the bidet there. Or, and not like have an extension cord like traveling yeah, across the room. Because I was like room. this close to getting one, and then I was like, you have to have an outlet by your toilet. And I was like, oh, fuck. Well, I experimented. Com, there was no outlet involved. There was battery operated? Nope. No electricity. Oh. Ooh. That's tight, really? What yeah, power is nice. it? A pump? Water. Ooh, wow. Well, I first experimented with a bidet in Vegas, and I was very confused by it because I did enjoy it. Mm-hmm. But it's, I didn't think I would. It's kind of nice. Forward or back? I was facing back. I was facing the toilet. <laughs> That's yeah, the way to do it. My legs around like that. Like a cool kid in school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I sit like that. I'm a really cool guy in the toilet. <laughs> yeah. They got those uh, ones in Europe too. Like I don't. It's kind of different. It's not. It almost looks like a separate toilet with the faucet on it. It looks like a really yeah. short drinking fountain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that one's crazy. It's like it's like the Bellagio water show. Have oh. you tried that one? Yep. Was it was at the um, hotel we stayed at in the Bellagio. The, the, I'm too nervous. The, the, how do you uh, use that? I don't know. I just experimented. Well, how did you use YouTube it? I sat on right? it like, oh, that's how you use it. I just ran my ass on it. Did you use your <laughs> hands to clean too or no? <laughs> oh, no. I used paper afterwards. Uh, I just I just blasted it with the yeah, water. Yeah. And I was like, that's a lot of freaking water, bro. Dude, I stayed in a hostel in Denmark and we had to share a bathroom and this cat was taking a shower for so long I had to pee so bad I had to pee in my own sink. Damn. Yeah. I hope nobody it work? like uses the sink to wash well, you your could face rinse after. after. <laughs> but you could rinse it. Yeah, I did, uh -huh. but still I don't feel confident about it being very clean. I mean it's not your face. You know like True. those French bidets or those European styles? Oh. The thing is you gotta get up and walk over, the process is the funniest part because it's like <laughs> you have your pants around your ankles, you get up and you gotta wobble like a penguin to the next bidet and you have to sit down and then turn that one on. That's true. Yeah. Are you supposed to sit on it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I used it right. I got I, maybe I should watch a tutorial on YouTube. You Did know? the bidet penetrate your body? No. Okay. No, no. The one in the office penetrated your body though. Oh yeah, the vortex. The vortex. <laughs> that is an enema. Really? Yeah, that one's strong. I don't know. I'm becoming a connoisseur of the of the type. You know, like, getting closer yeah. for to moving past the rim job you talk about. Yeah, but that's not even a uh, 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 for pleasure. It's for hygiene. Yeah. It's different. It's you know? pre pleasure. It's, it's yeah. very different. Like, I'm just it's saying. Like when you eat a popsicle, are you sucking a dick? No, it's it's a different kind of pleasure. But it sure looks like it though. Yeah. I'm just saying you're gonna <laughs> be less ticklish. <laughs> Ouch. What? Ouch. She does. But sometimes she hammer fucks her mouth with it, and I like that. That's oh, only when you're watching. Okay. I, that's true. <laughs> that's for you. <laughs> Have you ever had a cousin that uh, uh, that tried to marry you? <laughs> you? Yeah, I have an aunt that tried to marry you. He's a white guy in the room, like, <laughs> that's hey, the best. you can relate with me. <laughs> that's the best. We are running out of time on JK News. What do we talk about right now? I've ever heard. Wait, actually, yes. <laughs> Makes sense, though. <laughs> but I have. had a crush on him. Yeah. White trash oh! people are very similar. You know? Did that feel weird to you? In middle school. And she told everybody. The worst time. She told her friend and everyone. She told everybody. <laughs> Why did she do that? She really liked Because she wanted to destroy my life, apparently. That's how I felt. And then Steve got in trouble. Why? Yeah, well. For his cousin having a crush on <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Everyone's shitting all over me like I'm a cousin fucker. And I'm like, I'm not a cousin fucker. I didn't do anything. I, I, she just likes me. How close were you guys she, in cousin? She cousin was my second cousin. She got married in. Oh, that's me. fine. I think but that's okay. It doesn't matter because the branding is cousin fucker. And now everyone's going to start calling me cousin fucker. Second Again. Okay. 
second cousins are still not okay to marry. Uh, I know a couple that are married. Really? really? When you guys yeah, talk about it now, like at a family gathering, is it weird? Like, you used to like me. Does she wink at you and lick uh, her lips? I don't talk to her anymore. I hate that bitch. Really? <laughs> no, no, no. She's fine. No, no. Uh, I, I haven't brought it up in a long time. No. It's not a it's talk 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 talk. Yeah, like a family gathering and you're just pouring punch, right? You just kind of got wandering eyes. You're just looking around. You're just looking around. Do you ever like lock eyes with her in the room? And, oh, fuck, it's her. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. Every time I see her. You're like, I hope she doesn't I'm like you. Reminded you. But, but unlike you, I'm not like, hey, remember when you like had a crush on me when we were in school? That's weird, right? Like, I'm like, no, I should probably not talk about that right now. Does it sound like you're interested in her now? Yeah, right. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Bart. Hey, you still want to fuck? <laughs> is that him stirring the coffee? Is, is that you? When, is that you when you run your cousin? Like, yeah. hey, remember when uh, our, our parents wanted us to get married? Not my cousin. That's weird. But I do rub it in my mom's face and my aunt's face as much as I can. Oh, that's good. good. I like Cause that. Because your cousin was a kid at the time. She didn't know shit. She was just napping away, right? Yeah, she was just minding her own business. No, she was getting married off at that moment. Yeah. Yeah, she's in well, third grade. Is it the same cousin that was living with your mom? No. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. no. Different, different, different side. Different.